welcome to the Pretty Rich Podcast, where every woman is the heroine of her own story. I'm Sheila Bella, and I built a million-dollar beauty business from nothing. So maybe if you listen enough, you'll start to believe that you can do it too. Because if the perfect job doesn't exist, you can create it. If the job you want isn't hiring you, you can unapologetically hire yourself. Each episode will equip you with empowering conversations on how to grow a lifestyle that's pretty rich in love, beauty, wellness, and financial wealth. I'm Sheila Bella, beauty business coach, celebrity brow artist, microblading educator, entrepreneur, wife, mother, friend, daughter, and your forever positive beauty biz fairy godmother. Boom cack, let's go. What's up, you guys? It's Sheila Bella. It is Friday, Friday. And my friends, if you are living for only the weekend, you need to get another job. <laughs> Am I right on this? Ah. I mean, I'm glad it's Friday. I'm happy that it's Friday. But my favorite day is Monday. Team Monday. Because I was a Monday child. Okay, I was born on a Monday. And I'm itching, itching at the chance to start over on Monday again and slay my week. <laughs> Anyway, if you are just tuning in, you're like, who is this crazy lady? If you're just tuning in to Pretty Rich Podcast now and don't know anything about me, let me introduce myself. I am Sheila Bella, the CEO of Sheila Bella Microblading and Permanent Makeup. We've done over 14,500 procedures. I feel so blessed to be able to say that. And I'm also the host of this podcast, and I'm a beauty business coach and marketing strategist. I help beauty bosses learn how to scale six to seven figures just like I did. And today I'm so excited because I have some really sweet guests on the show who are pretty incredible women. What they all have in common is that they're all permanent makeup artists. But even though they all do cosmetic tattooing and you're going to listen to this thinking, I have nothing in common with these people. Just you wait. So how this podcast came about was I was at a speaking engagement at the United Inc. Tattoo and Arts Festival in Charlotte, North Carolina, where I had the absolute pleasure of leading a bunch of women through the social media jungle. That's right, I taught permanent makeup artists and body art practitioners the art of monetizing and selling your business on social media. It can be a scary and daunting thing, I understand, but I have to say, me standing on that stage, looking at the sea of faces who were hungry for this knowledge, I felt very in my purpose. You guys know what that feels like? You know what it feels like to stand in your purpose? It felt like the thing that was special about me, or the things, yeah, the things that were special about me that I've known about since I was a little girl were being used, used to serve people's lives and make them better. I was being used to diminish fear. It felt like every good and bad thing that I've ever gone through was being put to use and it all made sense about why I went through the things that I went through in this moment. It's so that I can share it all with you to make the world better. The idea of mentorship is so important because we're all going to make mistakes. But maybe, maybe if I could tell you about the mistakes that I've made, you won't have to make them. Or at least you won't have to make those same ones. I can help fast track your success. So if you've been listening to this podcast or read my captions on Instagram or Facebook or anything like that, you know that I am obsessed with being who I needed 10 years ago with that concept that we can all be that for somebody else. And that is really the concept behind a lot of the things that I do. It's the concept behind Pretty Rich Beauty Business School and the concept behind this podcast that you're about to listen to today. These permanent makeup masters and professionals are here to talk to you guys, be generous with their knowledge, and to tell you, to tell you that they're human, essentially. 
because I asked a pretty universal question. The question I asked is, who do you wish you had at the lowest point in your life? Think about it. What about you? What was the lowest point in your life? And who do you wish you had to help you break out of it? If you could almost like design like the perfect friend or messenger to walk into your life and give you some tough love or offer you a place to stay for the night or just put their arms around you and tell you it's going to be okay or share some information that you've been dying to know, what would this angel essentially have looked like? There's so much to learn from this question because the ways in which we were hurt are the ways in which we also try to heal others. You will see as you listen to each and every answer that the, that is the common thread with each woman. They became the very thing that they needed for other people years later. So cool, right? So for you moms out there, <laughs> this this rings true to me because I have a one-year-old and a four-year-old and right now my four-year-old son is old enough to understand when people are being rude to him. So if you're a mom and you have a hard time seeing your kids get bullied, so my four-year-old is in jujitsu class and there's this other like older kid who's probably like six or seven that's really rude to him. And it's heartbreaking to watch his innocent little face undeservingly receive attitude from this boy because nobody's mean to him. It's kind of like a loss of innocence and I know you moms can relate. And as heartbreaking as it is to witness, I need to remember, we all moms need to remember that because of these instances, our kids are going to grow up to be empathetic, compassionate. They're going to know how it feels to be talked down to that way. And I sure as hell, I'm going to guide my kids to connect the dots that he shouldn't do it to other people for it would hurt them too. So before I bring on my awesome guests and play their answers for you, I'm going to start out by going first and answering the question myself. What was the lowest point in my life and who did I wish would have come to me at that time to pull me out of it? For me, the lowest point, I think, was the severe anxiety I had in my 20s and fear of not being loved. I just made the decision I remember this. I just made the decision to separate from my first husband and dating, just the experience of dating after that was a nightmare experience. I was very unsure. Um, I was very insecure. I was like constantly in a state of panic, but I wasn't showing it outwardly. I wasn't even admitting it to myself. I was in a state of panic that I would, I might never find the one. I craved commitment and family so much, but you know, it had to be the right person. So I wish that I had a friend who looked like me, dressed like me, and talked like me, just so I would believe her. I would know it was possible. Um, and I would wish that she would have all of the things that I was after because it would prove to me that it would be possible for me and the next level exists for me. I would probably go up to my 27-year-old self and tell her that she has more power than she's aware of. I would tell her to learn how to be single and work on becoming whole and strong before she can expect somebody whole and strong to compliment her. Can I get an amen? Did you know you were listening to church today? <laughs> you are. So can I get a witness? Yes, sir. You cannot attract what you don't have or it's difficult to do so. So if you want somebody kind, you have to be kind. If you want someone who has their finances together, you should do. If you want someone with abs, then you should probably work on that, <laughs> et cetera, et cetera. And it doesn't change in marriage, just FYI. Like if I want Will to do something, I need to make sure that I'm, I'm holding that up to that description up so that is my answer and now my permanent makeup colleagues and friends tackle this at the united ink tattoo and arts festival in charlotte north carolina first up we have violet terabay you can find her on instagram 
Her Insta handle is the beauty parlor, but it's spelled super cute. T H E underscore beauty B E A U T I E underscore parlor P A R L O U R. Tell us, girl. Tell us, Violet. Who did you need? I needed uh, somebody that kind of shook me and told me stop living for somebody else's dreams and start living for your own. So there's always something that's nagging, you know, in your gut. And there's a lot of professionals out there who are doing one job because they think that they need to appease or make other people happy rather than sitting back and saying, hey, this is my life. I need to take control of my own life and and start doing what you love to do because I, I don't care what anybody says and maybe it's cliche, but when people when people say, you know, if you find your passion, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And it's so true. And there's a good quote that I posted on my Instagram and it says, entrepreneurs will quit a job that works, that you're working 40 hours to be an entrepreneur and work 80 hours because you're loving what you're doing. And so to you, it's not work. You're just putting your heart and soul into doing something that you love to do. And people can smell bullshit a mile away. So you can be, you know, in sales and you're selling something that you can't stand. People know that. But when you're talking from the heart and doing something that you're incredibly passionate about and you love doing it, it shows. You're, you, don't, you don't need to sell it. You're just being honest to people. And, and nowadays, that's what people want. They want an honest opinion. They want to know, you know, when they're coming to you, whether it's, you know, you're doing brows or permanent makeup or you're doing aesthetics or facials or skincare or whatever. When you love something, you don't, it's, it just shows you, you radiate that energy. And I wish somebody had come to me and just shook me and said, stop pleasing other people and worry about your damn self because at the end of the day, the only person that's there for you is you. When you go to bed at the end of the day, when you die at the end of the day, nobody's coming down with you. It's just you. So you need to start living your own life and just do it for you. And there's nothing wrong with being selfish because if you can't make yourself happy, you can't make your husband happy. You can't make your friends happy. You can't make your kids happy. It starts from you and that's where the grounding starts to come from and that creates a rippling effect to anybody else that's that's in your circle as well this is so so true you are the only one who is ultimately responsible for who you become and for fulfilling your dreams you're responsible even for how happy you are and taking ownership of all of that fully is your job next up i have shauna mcgrath ceo of beauty inc she is Canada's highest trained cosmetic tattoo artist, CPCP and BBP certified. She is an international speaker and educator in all things permanent make. Shauna McGrath. Wish that I had that kind of friend that no matter what, the doors were always open. Mm -hmm. Um, A lot of friends that I had had um, basically couldn't be around me because they were used to me being the happy-go-lucky girl all the time. And during that really, really hard, dark time, I was having a lot of struggle and I was angry when I get when I get in a place of vulnerability I get angry um, so they couldn't handle being around me so they just started to distance themselves so I would want a friend around me that's going to be supportive and unconditional no matter what mm-hmm. and when they see you in that state um, just give you a big hug and tell you everything's going to be okay mm-hmm. and uh, welcome you in and say you know what if you need a place to stay here you go wow. if you need some food to eat there you go and just be there for that unconditional support is that and I I see very much that you are that type of friend now am I right yes absolutely once you've been through that kind of struggle um, it really makes you uh, open up I mean for me it's made me softer and more compassionate with most other people it would harden them Mm -hmm. and give them a real Mm -hmm. um, sense of uh, crassness and bitterness Mm -hmm. and I found for me it's just opened myself up and made me even more compassionate I do a lot of advocating now for homeless people Mm -hmm. Um, I'm always willing to to, uh, sit and chat with people that are going through struggle. Mm -hmm. I I do it with my clients. I build bonds that way. And I just have a different perspective now um, with an open heart and uh, an open mind. The same hot water that hardens the egg softens the potato. Oh, it's so true. (laughs) It's so true. Oh, Shauna, you make me feel so good. I loved getting to know her. And, you know, it's so crazy because uh, Shauna is somebody that I've been friendly with um, on the Internet 
for a long time. Um, but we never really connected in person, and this was the event to do it. So as a matter of fact, um, I would encourage you guys in any industry that you're in to attend something in person. I try to do it at least once a year, at least, um, to get together with other masters and pick their brain and collaborate and nurture a relationship, essentially. And it's harder to do that online. There is a different level of intimacy, of connection when you do it in person. So next time you guys hear of an event, this was a great one. I'm sure they're going to have another one, United Ink Tattoo and Arts Festival. Um, Just go to unitedink.com. They have events that will commune permanent makeup people, um, tattoo artists from all over the world. Really, it is worth the investment time and money. My next guest is, oh God, she is like sugar and spice. Okay. I love her. Shay Danielle. Shay Danielle is from Calgary, Alberta. She is an artist, a brow artist. She's an educator and she is a mom. She makes your brow dreams come true. Your fibroblast (laughs) dreams come true as well. And she'll mom hard while she's doing all that. She's really like one of the sweetest souls I've come across over the years. Just super, super genuine. So if you, if you want to connect with her, I'm going to give it to you right now. ShayDanielle.PMU on Instagram. Here she is. It would be someone who was willing to share information. Someone who wasn't holding back secrets. Someone who would care enough about you to know that, okay, you're being honest. You want to learn something from them. You're asking the questions that you, you, you know, you need the information for, but you wanted someone that would be willing to give your time, you know, their time to you and, and help guide you a mentor. And I wish that more people would be open like that. What Uh, kind of advice did you need? It would have been to follow your dream, to take the risk that if it doesn't work out, what is the worst? Like, what is the worst that's going to happen? It doesn't work out. So what? Then at least you tried. Like, do you want to go to bed at night and think I gave it my all and maybe it didn't work out the way I, I hoped that it would, but at least I tried. You don't want those questions hanging over you, right? You want... You, you have to be ta- willing to take the risk to get the reward. No risk, no reward. So for me, it worked out, and I'm so glad that I took that risk and I made that change. And throughout the years, I met some really great people that have, you know, shaped me in, in to the woman that I've become and given me knowledge. And I've made a ton of mistakes and errors along the way. Like, that's how I've learned. But I am the person now that when I get those questions and when I get people that ask me like how did you do it or or why did you do it and like should I do this like I'm there to help them like I I don't hold secrets back when I do training or when even just random questions from people that I don't know I'm one of those people that will share information because there's so much information to go around and we are well for myself anyways I'm an artist and at the end of the day I can share all my knowledge with you but your hands are not my hands my hands are not your hands right we are all individual artists and sharing knowledge is not a bad thing it's going to change the industry and make us stronger as a whole and I wish more people would be willing to share that information did you try to get information from people and they wouldn't share yeah, I, for sure I did. I would reach out to people and um, I, I would know that they'd either tell me false information or they would just not be willing to, to kind of take on the question or to share that information with me. But What did you wonder? Oh, like lots of lots of questions, like, you know, silly questions like what device are you using or what pigment line are you using? Like things like that where it, people were a little bit more tight-lipped, so... Nowadays, like, ask me, I share. I put so much information on my post. Like, I want you to know what I know. So, yeah. And that comes from the pain of not having that when you needed it. absolutely. We all try to be, I think, like, what we needed. Like, I really wanted sisters. I really, I think I told you this. Yeah. Yeah, I really wanted sisters. So, like, I try to be that for people because it's my wound. Yeah. So, it's like, so I, I see the wound because it's my own. Yeah. And yeah. meeting you and, like, you, you you do give that to people. Like, I feel like I've known you for so long, instantly. Like, you give that off. So if that's what you're giving away, you're doing a great job because it's, yeah, it's very sincere and it comes across. Yeah, it's really beautiful. Thanks, you guys. Yeah. Shay Danielle, 
Don't you love her? You know what I love too? She does like makeup tutorials on her live on Instagram. Like she, she is so great. I love these like behind the scenes type style documentation stories that y'all are learning to do now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you know when you just get a feel for people that they're just like real? I get that with Shay, for sure. And I'm so honored that we are both a part of Tina Davies Pro Team and that's how we met. So if you enjoyed this episode, you're in luck. There's going to be a part two, part two. Um, and I'm going to have Tina Davies on that one. <laughs> but uh, give me some time to edit it. <laughs> oh, but for now, you guys, I hope you have a super blessed weekend. Um, and I'm just excited that I was able to get this up already because <laughs> I've been lagging all week long. I've been so, so busy, busy giving you guys content. If you guys, <laughs> I know there was no podcast until the very last day of the week, but if you guys have been looking on my Instagram, there's value on there. Okay. That's, that's what I was busy with. And of course, Pretty Rich Beauty Business School is this safe space that I've created for permanent makeup artists and other beauty professionals, lash artists, estheticians to gather together and to learn how to monetize and sell their services effectively on social media and just the entire online space. It's the space where I basically map out the steps that I took to get to where I am today so that you can replicate it. It's also the space where I help diminish fear of social media. (laughs) I know, it can be really scary. I know, I'm still scared. But you know, that's how I live. Until next time, you guys, have a great rest of your week. We are all one beautiful permanent makeup community. With its flaws and all, I would love to encourage togetherness and collaboration, zero competition. That's what Pretty Rich Podcast is about, and that's what our Facebook group is all about, actually. So if you want to join that, go ahead and search Pretty Rich Podcast on Facebook. Join the community, join the conversation, and help make our industry better. Thank you so much for listening. It is an honor to spend time with you and be a part of your life. If you enjoyed this podcast or were impacted by this at all, please take a minute to leave us a five-star review on iTunes and share it with a friend. Screenshot it, post it on your stories, your feed, and don't forget to tag me. I would really love to see that. My Instagram is at real Bella, and my co-host is at official Anthea. Also, let's carry on the conversation longer. Join our private Facebook group just for Pretty Rich Girls. Search Pretty Rich Podcast. Check out SheilaMella.com for more information on how to get more support on beauty entrepreneur mentorship and get going on your pretty rich lifestyle. God bless you guys. Until next time.